What's good, everybody? <laughs> what's good? What's good? You're watching Setting the Record Straight with Peter Anderson. Oh, we back. We all back with episode three. Whatever you oh, want. Gotta... You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. Right. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Listen, even though my favorite color is blue, I urge you to take the red pill. But listen, we got a show for you today. We definitely got a show. We got some people backstage. You know, we're going to have our, my boy, Saul Camaro, Mark McBride. He's going to be here. And we're going to talk about this uh, topic today. Operator, show us what the topic is. Let's just get right to it. What are the effects of promoting body count doesn't matter? What are the effects of promoting body count doesn't matter? See, we go all over social media. This conversation comes up. We have this conversation. And it gets argued back and forth, back and forth. Oh, nobody tells anybody about their body count. Nobody says anything about body count. No, I've never been asked about body count before. No, you're not going to get asked about body count, sis. You know why he ain't going to ask you about body count? Because he's not stupid. When we're talking about body count, we're talking about people who 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 say it doesn't matter. The ones that think it matters or believes it matters or lives in a way that they know that it matters, we're not talking to y'all tonight. We want to talk to the ones that say it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your body count is. It does matter. But I want to know, though, why doesn't it matter? And what are the effects of just telling everybody, oh, it doesn't matter. Just do what you want. Go ahead. It don't matter. Run up the body count. It don't matter. And I asked the question this. You know, I'm not even going to I'm not going to ask the question. It's going to be it's too soon. I'm not going to do that to y'all. I ain't going to close the show all in this all, all in the intro. I'll save that question for later. But I want to know why body count doesn't matter. I want to know the effects of promoting that body count doesn't matter. I want to know the effects of defending body count doesn't matter. That's what we're going to talk about today. And we have people on backstage and we also have um we also have Saul Camaro here. We ain't going to bring him up yet. We ain't going to bring him up yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to play that first video. So go ahead. Play that first first video. Does body count matter to you? And if it does, why? I think it's really important that we ask ourselves where we get the messaging around body count and it being a good thing or a bad thing and why. In my opinion, my answer is no, um, but I think there's like pros to both. So when someone hasn't had a lot of sexual experiences, it means that you get to potentially experience that with them or things with them for the first time, which can be really exciting and it can make it feel like really just fresh and new and it's just exciting. But if someone has had a lot of experiences, that can be really helpful because they are likely going to be more confident and more comfortable to be like, hey, do you wanna try this? Or do you wanna try this position or this toy? Or do you wanna talk a little bit during sex or after sex about our sex? And I think that's a really big pro because it means that 
They are going to hopefully be able to draw things out of you that maybe you didn't know about yourself beforehand. It is so important that we don't allow ourselves to believe the messaging that we've probably received from society, which is that if someone has had a lot of situations, <laughs> that they are for some reason dirty or used or whatever people will say, it's horrible. And I think as long as that person has been practicing safe sex practices, like wearing a condom, using protection of whatever that is, whatever that looks like, and they're getting tested regularly for STIs and they are having consensual experiences with people, then there's no reason why someone having a lot of experiences is a bad thing. If anything, I think it's a pro, I think it's great. <laughs> We got a caller. Uh oh, what's going on? What's up, man? One hundred percent bullshit. You just you what you just got out of uh? You just got out of a, a prison or something? Where you come from, <laughs> man? I, I'm traveling. That's the reason why I'm no, not, I, I, on a computer. But I was like, I don't. How much worse can it get? This they they pretty soon they gonna be like clothes. Like you don't need clothes. Just walk yeah. around butt naked. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter. Nothing clothes. Nothing, clothes. nothing matters. Clothes is a social construct. <laughs> that was made of underwear. Ma'am, ma'am, my, my is son is construct. some child that just walked up and put his finger in your booty and now you yeah, you want to call a, a <laughs> <laughs> You That's want to call crazy. the police. But, but you see how she kind of like highlighted body count doesn't matter more and say, oh, that's be even better than, you know, being cha chased, you know, have some chastity about you. Silly that's okay. Rabbit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's okay. But, you know, <laughs> wow, you, you know a lot of stuff if you have a high body count. Peter, <laughs> I think this, this, is what, this is what men need to start doing. Men need to start going around and saying the most stupidest shit about things that men are not supposed to do. We should just start going around saying, felonies doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. and income doesn't matter. Income, in, income doesn't matter. Fe whether or not, I, hey, size doesn't matter. Anything that we know that matters to women, we should start saying out loud, it doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Does, a, a man doesn't need to have money. Who said that? Yeah, money, money doesn't matter. Money, mo yeah, money doesn't matter. Size doesn't matter. What do you talk about, ladies? It doesn't matter. Doesn't, None of that matters. Yeah, a man doesn't have to protect. Why was a man? <laughs> a, a fat broke guy doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's fat or broke or not. Nothing matters. Rich hey. people don't matter. <laughs> Rich, hey. slender people don't matter. Tall hey. people don't matter. It doesn't matter if he's six foot. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. He's three, two, three yeah. foot. He could be three, 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 two, two, three and two quarters. Micro penis doesn't matter. Right, right. God this, damn it! Oh, no. hey, hey, here's another one. Here's another one. Hey, you orgasms don't matter. Right, your orgasms don't matter. God, God damn it! Don't it orgasms. don't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't orgasms matter. don't matter. I mean, the past doesn't matter. Remember, the past doesn't matter. Yeah. So it don't matter if you had orgasms in the event because you ain't, ain't gonna matter because you ain't gonna get them in the future because it don't matter. Being a father doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> Just, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be around. Right. You don't have yeah. to be around. Be, being being a, 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 a present dad doesn't matter. Yeah. Who cares? You know? It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't matter. But see, what we all know to be true is the only things that are that are literally, you know, publicly announced as doesn't matter are things that could be used to downgrade a person. Right. That That's what doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if, you know, if, if it's something that could possibly make me a lesser of a person. Now I need to make it seem like it doesn't matter. So therefore you can't use it against me. We had somebody uh, earlier today talking about he was a good felon. He was a good felon. He said, uh, he said, there's a such thing as a good felon. His name was um, Mental Health, of all things. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! 
And he was just talking about, yeah, yeah, just because I'm a three-time felon, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I can, I'm a still a good, I can, I'm a good felon. And then he used this word, hold on, wait for it. I was a victim of felonism. <laughs> what? <laughs> this so crazy, man. This is so crazy. Hey, I can't make it up. You can't make this shit up. I you can't can, make I, it up. You can't. I've really never can't. heard that word before in my life today. He said, because, because. Well, I mean, us, apparently you can't make it up. You can't make this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he said, because a man like me, who's been a victim of felonism. <laughs> <laughs> he was serious as hell. He was serious as heart attack. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's crazy, man. Listen, I keep saying all the time that the, that the, uh, that the crazies are running the asylum. Um, we just trying to get the keys back so we can get into the control rooms and take over the asylum again. That's all we try to do, man. We try to we said, man, listen, we thought the the screening that whoever ran HR department, we need to fire them. They didn't mess around and let some I, crazy people let the crazy people out and run the asylum. We we need I'm to gonna, fire them. I'm people. gonna sit back and relax and watch the show because all these crazies is gonna pay a hefty price. Hefty price. Listen, I just, I just want to make sure that um, I don't, I don't want to be here when it get too, too bad. I just want to make sure that you know me, and my family straight, cause uh, when stuff hit the fan for real, for real. But you know that's for a whole nother live. I ain't gonna go in like that. Yeah. Who we got? Uh oh, <laughs> what's, what's going on, bro? What's up, man? <laughs> like, What's going on, bro? Man, get out of bed, man. Get out of bed, and leave. I'm just here to watch, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Do leave. What's good, man? Relax. Nothing much, man. Loving the show. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. What's going on, vet lady? So just support, came in, man. The, in the comment section. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you supporting, you know, the platforms that I'm on and coming through with your with your cash yes, apps and, and you know giving those jokes, man. I appreciate it, man. You know my little cheap you know, cash apps, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get it how you live. Hey, listen, bro. I'm not even gonna hate you because you not you the own other people could be doing that same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least you supporting the platform. You Amen know to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Other, you. other yes, you sir. supporting the platform. Other people just, you know, just yeah. listening. They laughing at the cash apps, but they ain't trying to contribute to nothing like that. They not sending a dollar, not even to say anything. They're not even sending a dollar to even, you know, help. You know, so I, you know, we gotta support each other. We gotta support each other. You know, that's number yeah, one. Man. Yeah, man. So what you think about the uh, topic, man? What are the, what are the effects of promoting body count? Does not matter? I think it's uh. What's going on, Cloud? Society, it's detrimental to society, man. You you can't you can't promote things that are not positive and things that are not good, you know. So th that's just number one. Mm -hmm. And I think body count matters because if you have a high body count, to me, I feel like one man cannot please you. You know, you're always gonna be looking. So um, that's why I feel like body count matters. Yeah, so I mean, look, what what uh, this conversation it gets down to it when people promote body count, they don't understand that they're they're promoting STDs, they're promoting the rise in that, they're promoting in the rise of people um, unwanted pregnancy, they're promoting the rise of abortions, they're they're promoting the rise of children being born that nobody planned because that's what happens promiscuous levels go up definitely all those things happen oh and long and don't matter about the person body count as long as they safe just like they the girl said in the video just as long as they have you know protect themselves what are you talking about people are not doing that though that's not what's happening that, that's what the lady said on your live earlier um i can't right. remember her name but she said, she said, um she worked with um 
I forgot the 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 title she she said she was, but um, she definitely said that uh, people are not using condoms at all, pretty much. You know, right? They're not. Sure. They're not using condoms. That's what's happening. They're not using it, and it don't matter because guess what? Condoms don't stop all STDs, right? And then if if they're not using it properly, or they use it sometime every other time to try to sound like they somewhat safe. That still brings unwanted pregnancy. Tricks are for kids. And, on, and, and I just learned something new too. Um, just by hearing her talk, she said not only HIV can kill you, you know, syphilis and uh, what is it, gonorrhea can kill you too. You know, so hey, uh, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all where I think this all starts from. Right. And I, I don't know if people are gonna agree with me, but I think I'm gonna do a whole show just on this on the on what I'm about to say. Boy, boyfriends, what what is that for? What what are you? What is your goal when you get a boyfriend or a girlfriend in high school? Because it's not marriage. Man, I guess I guess it would be practice. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what's the other guy? What's your name, sir? I didn't, I didn't see your name. Uh, Robert. <laughs> Robert. What do yeah. you think? What is the purpose of a boyfriend or a girlfriend in high school? Because it's not marriage. <laughs> like Peter said, practice. Okay. So, 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 check this out. <laughs> Let's look. Check this out for real. They are practicing exactly. What is happening when they become adults? Everything that we are seeing out here in the world, I believe, it started as it's a constant rotation of people that we allowed them to start when they were in grade school. Mm -hmm. If you if you are okay with just being with somebody and maybe practicing some type of sexual activity or practicing to kiss and all this other stuff. And you can just go from one person to the next person to the next person. And you ne next thing you know, you done dated half the school. Bro, bro, I told you, man, I told you, I call it the high school syndrome. That's why when I make the case of- I'm trying to take my <laughs> shit. I came up with this shit. I'm oh, trying to did it. Shit. What are you Bullshit. talking about? We argued about this whole TikTok. We argued about this whole TikTok. Yeah. Oh, ain't now gonna take you done called gonna... it. Hey. You uh, called it the high school uh, uh, Operator. Operator. You see what he did? Hold on. Operator. Put me in the box. We're going to set the record straight. Just trying to set the dog on record straight. Bullshit. Now listen. You ain't not just. So. Never, ever, ever, ever. Uh-uh. So. Listen up. You and I. We were on TikTok. We were on Lois Live. And you know exactly what I'm about to say. I said the high school syndrome. And you started arguing. Oh, it's, it's kind of like high school. But it ain't really like high school. Because it's not. Bro, we used to. to, to let's set the record straight on this. I, I said the high school syndrome. I've been saying it all the time. I said on Lower Live in a conversation with you. You don't remember. And you think that you're coming up with yourself. It, your age is showing, four, sir. Four, your four age letters. It's showing. Look, I only got four letters. You got 10 years on me. You got 10 on, years on me. On, your on. age is showing. I, I let you speak. I got four letters. L I E S. There's no lies on that. There's no <laughs> lies. Bro, you think you're coming up with this. L I you okay. Just I'm not saying that, wait, wait, wait. I'm saying. not saying I'm not saying that you never said the high school syndrome. I right. never said I, I don't know that high school. But you what I'm like high school. But what I'm saying, the the actual the actual utilization of of letting you just your daughter, on the high school syndrome. You just as bad in your last decision. Bro, bro, we go set the record straight. Like I said, I came up with the term high school syndrome. It's just like high school. The way we date, the way we, the way the date market is, is just like high school. You got to phone a friend because I don't and remember. you, you need to get your memory back. Call Lord. Don't let this be early get set Lord, Alzheimer's. Get don't let this be Lord. early set Alzheimer's. Because, sir... What? I came up with that, and all you're doing is expounding like, oh, yeah, I came up with this. I'm like, bro, 
I say this all the time. It's the high I've school. I've never syndrome. heard you say what it's I just like said. High school. Cause you're expounding on the high school syndrome. You know what I usually when I usually talk about the high school syndrome. This is what I bring up. I okay. bring up. I bring up how you know there's there's a, a handful of guys that get all the attention from the women. Okay. Right? I I bring up um I bring up it's usually the high school um the 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 football captain with the cheerleading captain. Those people get together because they understand where they are in the quote unquote dating market hierarchy. It's not the it's not the geeky girl that's trying to get with the football player. It's not like that. But because what's happening is is that the emergence of social media and emergence of filters and emergence of dating apps is messing up where people rank. And it's the high school students all over. We talk okay. about the, the handful okay. of guys that get all the women and they're able to have access to sex and all Got that. It. I okay, now I remember that. I right. Remember that. And all you're doing is expounding no, 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 on no, no, the high school no, no, students. No, 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 no. Let me add, let me tell you what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is we are literally teaching our daughters to allow people to use them for entertainment. Because dating in high school has no purpose. Nobody's getting, nobody's dating in high school for marriage. So what you're saying is true, but I'm talking about a total different thing. So we can just add this to the high school syndrome. Yeah. Okay. All right. We set the record straight. <laughs> get the other, get this man on my <laughs> Thank you. We set the record straight on that. We, got, we set the record straight. Listen, from time to time, I'm going to stop the show like this, and we're going to set the record straight, because the show is called Setting the Record Straight. So whenever I tell the operator to take the person off, and we're going to back, go back and forth, and it's going to be me and that person, that's when we set the record straight. We got to set the record straight from time to time. Mr. Anderson! All right, so listen, ladies, we want to hear from you. There were some ladies in the background. I guess they couldn't wait because, you know, we in the microwave generation. Well, we passed the microwave generation. We, I guess we are called the air fryer generation. If that's what, Is that okay? Can I coin that term, the air fryer generation? So you hear it here first. The air fryer generation, and they want everything done, a whole meal done quick. I don't know. Listen, you can cook everything in the air fryer. This is how the people, the people backstage, they didn't want to stay backstage. They just left some ladies backstage and they just left i guess it was they we took too long to start the show anyways so come on ladies we want to hear from you i really really want to hear from you Uh, natasha said arrested development oh that's um that's a thing that's definitely that's definitely a thing that is definitely a thing arrested development but we want to hear from you, ladies. Come on over. And we we got we're going, we're live on TikTok right now as well. Come on over to Atlanta Cast Network, y'all. Come on over. We want to hear from you. That's where we are right now. We're on YouTube at Atlanta Cast Network. You'll see my show setting the record straight. We're live right now. So come on over. We want to hear from you. Come on. Come on. Come on. We want to hear from you. That's where we are. So nobody request up here. Come on over to YouTube. Request to come in on YouTube. At Atlanta Cast Network and setting the record straight. You'll see me live right now. We're in the comment section talking and all that. So listen. Y'all just click the link in the uh in the um in the comment section right now if y'all want to come live. We want to hear from you. But go ahead while we wait, go ahead, play the next video operator. I feel so bad because I don't lie to this man about my body count. I told his ass I only got seven. Me personally, it's childish. A girl's past should never matter, and it doesn't matter to me. If you're a girl and you agree with me, DM me. I missed that. Play that one more time, operator. I feel so bad because I don't lie to this man about my body count. I told his ass I only got seven. Me personally, it's childish. A girl's past should never matter, and it doesn't matter to me. If you're a girl and you agree with me, DM me. Operator, play it one more time. Get the fuck out of here! I think they missed it. Play it again. I feel so bad because I don't lie to this man about my body count. I told his ass I only got seven. 
Me personally, it's childish. A girl's past should never matter, and it doesn't matter to me. If you're a girl and you agree with me, DM me. Hopefully y'all got that. Did y'all get that in the comment section? Did y'all get that? Y'all put 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 one if you got that last video in the comment section. If you got it, put two if you did it. No. One for yes, I got that video. Two, no. Come on. Cause we got ones, ones, ones. Ones. See, ladies, it's two things. And hopefully this will help a lady out. If a man says he don't care about your bass, anybody count doesn't matter, it's one of two things. One, he trying to smash. He don't care about your body count if he trying to smash. He ain't trying to take you serious. Silly rabbit. Two. He trying to smash. He don't care about your body count. <laughs> no, no, two. The real two is this. Is that he got a high body count. And he don't want to talk about his high body count. So he don't care about yours. No acts, don't tell. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. If a dude don't care about your body count, it's one of two things. He trying to smash you. Because he don't care about your body count. Ever, or he has a high body count. Which is he also doesn't care about your body count. Because he don't want it to be, for you to think it matters. Because he, he got one. That's what it is. What you think about it, uh, Saul? Since you back. Listen. I have never, ever hid or had a woman not know that I had access to a lot of women. Every one of them said it the, the the first day I talked to them. The first thing they would say is, "Oh, I know you got. I know you got a lot of women." That's the first thing they would say. But they ain't care. Exactly. So, so <laughs> it, listen, listen. This is the thing. Body count, the actual count, the number is not what matters. Body count is it's just paraphrasing. For what is your persona? What what is your what do people perceive you to be? If everybody in the community thinks you're the exercise, the local exercise bike that everybody gets on and takes a ride on, no, nobody's gonna marry that. They might decide to take a ride too. I'm not taking your ass home, but a but a man who has a high body count. A woman thinks, well, there's a reason why. Why are all these women allowing him to have sex with them? Go find out. I want to know too. Most men that are thinking of marriage do not think of, ooh, let me go get a prostitute or a porn right. star. Because those are the individuals with the highest body count, right? But if you look, if you got a superstar or a mega rap star, you know it, he's got a high body count. He's got a lot of women. But guess what? Women are attracted to that. So it doesn't really matter as far as the dating market. It matters for health for everybody. It's a health concern for everybody. But as far as being selected by, another, by a woman, it doesn't matter for a man. But for a woman to be selected by a man, it does matter because men say it matter. And we're the one who get to say so. Women don't get to choose. Women don't have a He's choice. He's beginning to believe. What their, their opinion doesn't matter. Just like our opinion on abortion doesn't matter. Our opinion don't matter. We might not like it, but guess what? It's not our body. It's their body, their choice. So we need to be quiet when it comes to that. But if a man says these are the requirements for marriage, I don't want you to be the neighborhood treadmill. Um, that's his choice. And women, women are trying to try to eliminate that so they can do what the fuck they want, not be held accountable. 
Yeah. That's and, and I'm gonna tell you right now, you ain't gonna get a lot of women to come up on this show. Not on this topic. <laughs> Especially with me up here. You nigga. say you you say they scared. Nigga, ain't nobody what? Me. <laughs> you saying the lady scared of talk to I you? Wish right. your, I wish your, come on I wish now. Your, listen. I wish listen. a woman would. I wish you a need woman a, would. You need a I'm every woman, it's all on it, it's all on me kind of woman to come up here. She listen. can do it. And I wish a woman would come up here and try to justify high body count. Come on. Hey, Saul, Saul calling y'all out, ladies. He said y'all scared to talk. Come on. They over. know they are. Come on over to Atlanta Cast Network. Uh oh. You should have talked about. You should have talked about on, on YouTube. You should have talked about vacations or something. They not gonna come up here. Oh, not yeah. on this topic. The only reason why they get on, they do it on TikTok, is because it just happens to come up in another topic. They're right. not about to come up here on this because they don't have a leg to stand on. There's nothing you can, there's nothing. Now, I know one woman that would come up here, but I think she just kind of, she got slow. So she don't, she don't get it. Like when you hear a woman say, I don't understand why it's okay for a man to have a whole bunch of sex partners. He's called a pimp. But I'm called a prostitute or a whore. I don't understand. The fuck you mean you don't understand? Haven't you seen a movie of a pimp and a hoe? <laughs> Haven't you seen the two dynamics, the hierarchy in that situation? Now, neither one of them are high standing people. But I tell you right now, a hundred times out of a hundred, I'd rather be the pimp than the hoe. <laughs> I don't want nobody busting me upside the head for $40. Absolutely not. And those type of people have the highest body count. Corn stars and prostitutes. Hey, you know what? Here's, set, here's another record we're going to set straight. This is the first time in human history that there are more men that are virgins than women. That is the first, this will be the first time ever that there are more men virgins than women virgins. This will be the first time in human history. Uh oh. And that's sad. It's it's pathetic. You got almost 40% of me in that are virgins. You know, it's gonna be all reversed here in about the next 20 years. The man gonna be sitting home with his mama a virgin. Waiting on a woman to come marry him and take him, take him, take him somewhere else. Uh -oh. oh, please be a woman. We got a call. What's that call, operator? Oh, that's Blazian. What's going on, Blazian? You ain't Blazian on the just, camera. You ain't on the camera tonight. Blazian agree with us. Yeah, I wasn't gonna come up here. I was waiting for other women to come up here because they scared. Yeah, they're gonna be, they gonna be scared on this one. They're gonna be scared because there's this. absolutely nothing you can say. There's absolutely nothing you can say when a man says that you sorry we about didn't that. Hear you. That must be your iPhone. I... No, I got a phone call. See, we can do both of those at the same time on an iPhone. <laughs> Yo shit a break. Yo shit a break. <laughs> you, you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta plug your up. I said, hold up, wait a minute. Sure, I, right. I think they know I'm on here. They're doing this on purpose. They know I'm on here, and they're doing it on purpose. Stop the cap. <laughs> they see me right now, and they're calling on purpose. I, I know it. I know they see me on here, and they're calling on purpose. Stupid asses. But anyway, this will be the, these individuals will try to rectify or 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 try to condone anything that we say is bad about a woman I anything name one thing i want you to name one thing i don't care what it is that is bad for a woman to do just name anything 
other than fucking everybody in the neighborhood. Name something else. Mm. Drugs. The, the, I swear to God. I, I, well, you don't know what that person's going through. So maybe drugs is a good way for them to cope with their trauma. That's what you hear. That's what you hear. Name something else. Um, I don't know. <laughs> what is um... something? What is something bad? <laughs> what is something bad a woman should not do? Other than being with a whole bunch of men. Other than yeah, that. Said, yeah. Oh, anything other than that, because that's what the show is about. So we said doing drugs. Prostitution. Okay. Literally, people are saying today, ain't nothing wrong with a man giving a woman some some money for her bills if she's giving him her, her body. Bitch, that's prostitution. You a hoe. Mm. You, oh, you nasty. You 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 will fuck for electric bill. God damn. They were talking about earlier. Know your worth. She knows her worth. Her worth is forty dollars and a squirt. Mm -mm. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. That is her worth. She she that individual. Not all. Of course, not all, because not all women will allow that to happen. But women who will allow a man to get access to her body to play, pay the water bill, that's your worth. A water bill. I mean, am I wrong? No, that's, I mean, if they're out here doing that, and a lot of them do say that, oh, I got to have a man to, you know, pay my rent, pay for my kids, whatever, and... They say that the only thing they have to do is bust a lot open. So that's prostitution pretty much. She said, she said, and I quote, come on, let's do it. Ride my pony. My saddle's waiting. Um, so um, jump on it. End quote. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Listen. Um, yeah, but see, this is the thing about it. We go, we we about to play the third video. I only had three videos for the night. We're gonna play the third video, but not right now. We we got another video. But listen, the effects of it though, this could go real deep. This could we could talk about it damaging the uh the 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 data marketplace value and what's going on in the uh, data marketplace we could talk about all this this is it's it, it goes deeper promoting that that the body count doesn't matter that means that you're promoting promiscuous meant to be more promiscuous to be have sex more with women <laughs> And you said, oh, well, men are having sex and just doing all kind of stuff and leaving and not caring about us. You're promoting it, saying we but don't count, count no matter. So guess what? It don't matter. Don't matter. If it, I'll tell you something else that's affecting that people don't realize. It is affecting how young men treat and view and and value women. Mm -hmm. Young young boys. Not I'm not talking about like young men 20 in the early 20s i'm talking about 14 15 mm -hmm. if 14 and 15 year olds are watching women act like this going from he one woman was with his brother his older brother then she was with his cousin then she with one of his brother's friends mm -hmm. he's literally learning this is how you treat women this is what you do with women mm -hmm. And we already got a, a nation full of 30-year-olds and 25-year-old men who have heard their entire adult life that that men and women are equal and it's done fucked them up. But now you got this a new generation growing up watching women twerk and shake their bodies on TikTok, dog. 
We're talking about mm -hmm. eight-year-old boys, seven-year-old boys, nine-year-old boys. There was a woman literally touching herself, her vagina, on TikTok. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I ain't going to say her name. And Today get, I, I, is one of the worst days that I've had in a long time. And I guarantee you, some little boys was watching that shit. Mm -hmm. And we think that this shit is not going to affect them how they view you. These will be the little boys that will be in Congress one day. These will be the little boys that will be making the laws. Y'all better pray to God that they don't take us back to the 1800s in order to get this play, get this country back on track. Because I believe it's coming. Especially Trump's son. That, that's going to be the one. That's going to be the Antichrist. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I think the movie will be called The Son of Trump. <laughs> Oh, gosh. And that's what I'm saying, man. Like, they don't understand what they what they promoting, man, is 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 it's it's damaging their chances in the world. They think that for some reason it's gonna make them miss like accountability or some kind of some kind of no known uh like like reaping what you sow they know what they're going to reap but they somehow they're going they trying to manipulate the outcomes by saying it don't matter if they say it enough they think it's going to somehow bypass all the outcomes the the outcomes that are are that are on its way for having a high body count like i was watching a video today and i was scrolling through tiktok and I was, you know, just looking up stuff about the subject today. And I was saying, hmm, this one lady said, oh, the, all the guys that say that no man will want you be, want me because I had a high body count. And then she showed a ring. But then you go through her TikTok. You don't see no husband. You don't see no man. Let's see this guy. Let's see your husband. You don't see no pictures of no wedding gown. You don't see no nothing. She got a lot of videos, though. Tons of videos of herself. With the same background. Same everything. Just, just terrible. L looking crazy. And then she shows one time her red wedding ring. But no man. And then we supposed to just believe her. That she got a man. Anybody could just say, yo, I'm with somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's so easy to just lie and say that. She got a ring on. Oh, but she got a ring on. She got. A... You can buy rings that look real on Amazon. What are you, what are you talking about? Especially if you want to push an agenda. Especially if you're trying to get followers some to some perceived agenda. And even if she did have a husband, let's see him. Let's see if he's a desirable husband. <laughs> Let's see what he looks like. What kind of job he has. Who is he? Who did this to himself? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Who hates Holy himself to shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Who hates himself this way? <laughs> Do we, I want to see this guy. <laughs> so I can say, hey, kids, here lies a guy. Who did himself this way? <laughs> Don't you do it. <laughs> I'm just saying, we I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just trying to figure out. I'm not listen, listen, I'm not no hater. I'm not no hater. It might seem like I'm hating. I'm just relating. Step one. Walk through that door. <laughs> Step two, tell him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, but this is what I'm saying, and and it's crazy because people really, really think, really think that if they could just, I, I guess, wish it away or manipulate society to wish it away, and it's never done it in the history of man. People mm -hmm. still not getting favorable outcome. How long feminism been feminism, feminizing for this long, 
and we still have a manipulated body count doesn't matter women typically who have a high body count don't get the favorable outcome or get whatever outcome she wants at the end of the body count tunnel <laughs> like come on now there's no after the high body count there's not a husband who is desirable at the end of the body count tunnel he's beginning to believe you see what i'm saying it's never been like that but for some reason women think that they can manipulate the body count and say ah uh, i can lie about it ah uh, and like it, it's not working y'all still not getting married and if y'all do it don't last long statistics say it y'all not even lasting long in y'all marriage so y'all get married just to get divorced so like i said that high body count thing is for the birds and I, I say the same thing with men. Don't be don't be out here. Show some de-discipline. Put it up, sir. I think you've become a product of you know your environment, right? Everybody likes to say that I'm a product of my environment. But not realizing your environment can also be what you created. You got 50 bodies. You know what that is? That's not just 50 sexual encounters. That's 50 breakups. That's 50 times that you were intimate with somebody and you were able to detach from them mm. and walk away from them and feel nothing. So why do you believe that you can do something 50, 60 times and then all of a sudden, you're going to lose that skill. Oh, you really like this guy. So you're just going to delete that skill. <laughs> you're not going to do that no more. You're just going to be like, oh, no, this is a good guy. So I'm going to stay forever. I'm going to wait. Let me get this straight. You're going to leave everybody for 40 years. <laughs> every human that you have ever met and ever had any type of intimacy with you left them for 40 years and then all of a sudden you're gonna meet this one person and stay with that person forever bullshit a bullshit a bullshit <laughs> And, and, and then here's another thing. Here's another thing they don't realize they do to themselves. You Do you know, and this goes for men too, you can never have a bad vagina or a bad penis if it's the only one you ever had. Because you don't have anything to compare it to. Read that comment, Peter. My daughter is 17 and very modest. Ain't too inter interested in boys. Worried more about getting her scholarship. Don't go look through a phone. You might get your heart broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> To say that, let her believe her daughter's scholarship. Scholarship out. She's a scholar. I'm just trying to live my life. Look, man, I, I, I let her every, believe that she's scholarship out. Listen, that she's a scholar and she's on a ship and she out. Every time I see, every time I see or hear somebody talk about their child like that. I just be like, man, I feel so sorry for this person if they ever find out the truth. I, I just do, because these mugs be lying. Mm -mm. Yeah, but it's it's okay. She she gonna be all right. Yo, your dog gonna be all right. Let let's not let us not let Saul scare you, okay? But Peter, some women choose to be put that up. But Peter. Some women choose to be independent from a man by choice. I know y'all think it's bad, but I'm happier this way. She's a single mother. Oh, that's nice. 4025 Windward Plaza. 
So let me tell you something real quick. Stop the cap. <laughs> Listen, you know, um, I understand it. You know, some people are happier this way because um, they have they they can only deal with themselves. Let's just be real about the situation. Some people are happy being alone because they can only deal with themselves. They don't uh, they the management of someone else and themselves is not compatible with their personality and who they are. So I get it. I understand. You know, some people are like that. And, you know, I think that's um that that's that's you. Just don't be out here having sex, okay, ma'am? Okay. You by yourself, stay by yourself. I'll be out here messing up with the, the, the body counts out here. Okay. Man, who wait, who said that bullshit? <laughs> Samantha, the same lady about her daughter. Y'all, I swear. Y'all, y'all, what? This is 2023, not 1973. She said she, she's happy about herself, though. You know, she she's a mother, she's an independent. She she's She's Ain't independent. No such thing she's as no independent damn by. Independ she's no independent thing. by from. She said it's by choice. Ain't no such thing. You know what I'm saying? She it's by choice. You Ain't know, no such she, thing. Ain't she's no a such thing. Stiff arming men that you know the men of her dreams. She get them all the time, and she's stiff arming. Uh uh. Independent by choice. By myself by choice. Single by choice. You know a lot, and a lot of people are single by default. We just gonna be real. They, you know, ain't no such ain't, thing. You know, ain't. ain't, ain't Ain't no prospects coming or no good prospects coming at you. Ain't yeah. no such thing as an independent. Ain't no such thing as an independent woman. No such thing. But we're not gonna go into that, so we we understand that. We know listen, that. that's part of the whole high body count. You know why? Because they believe that I'm strong, independent, I don't need nobody, so I can do what I want. And then when they figure out later on in life. I can't and I need somebody, then it's too late. It's too fucking late. They already done picked up half the neighborhood. All right, there's a super chat that came on. Um, uh, put that super chat up there. Thanks, um, your pool queen for bringing this super chat. Um, chat, appreciate you. Um, she said, Does body count matter for not men and women? And men having a high count is promoted. A woman's body count is shameful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, you dang real. It's shameful for both. But, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's shameful for both. But see, y'all don't make it shameful for men. It's the women that got to make it shameful for men. See, I believe in God. I believe in the word of God and what God say. God said in the Bible for... Uh, 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 no, 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 yes. no, don't, don't, yes. do yes. don't do this. Yeah. Don't do this. Yep. Don't do this. Yep. Don't do this. Don't do this. It says, this is, this, be no. fruitful. <laughs> no, 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 don't, don't be mess up. Be fruitful. Don't do that. You're taking That's it out of context. That's what the Bible say. But you're taking it out of context. Sorry. All right. All right. All right. So set anyways, the record straight. So, set so, the record straight. So, what does it mean? No, no, no. no we're not going to set no record straight with you because you're going to try to if you, if you, um Yeah, we're not going to do Tell that. Tell me what Jesus said. We're not going to do I'm running this shit. Six. Your five dollar ass down before I make change. Right. So what I'm saying is this: is that the body count does matter, and it should matter. But y'all not making it matter to when it comes to men because those men who have a high body count still get favorable outcomes. Y'all not holding them to the fire. Y'all not saying, "Oh, ugh, he got a thousand bodies. He got a hundred bodies." But y'all, guess what y'all saying? Ugh, that's a virgin. He a virgin. Ugh. He don't know what he's doing. That's what y'all say. When That's we why say, don't we don't be like we don't we don't we don't go to we don't go to women and be like, oh, she's a virgin. Ugh. <laughs> I threw up in my mouth a little bit. We don't do that. We say, oh my god, this is a virgin. Oh my god, we don't find we don't find a jackpot. Hold on, hold on, watch out, y'all watch out. She mine, she mine. That's what we do to virgins. Y'all don't do those to virgin men. Y'all be like, oh, he a virgin. Nobody want him. Ugh. That's what y'all do. So y'all got to make it shameful for men. Until y'all do, it's men going to just run up their body count. And then they, at the end of that tunnel, they're going to get them a nice wife. And they can even land them a virgin. I done seen it. So that's up to y'all. 
that's up to y'all. When a man, man say, I, when my playing games are over, I need the right one here with me, and she could be a virgin, and that virgin will say, yes, he chose me. He slow, he stopped at, from all the women, especially all the women, to come to me, and I got the ring. Yes. It's a prize for y'all. We don't be like, oh my gosh, she smashed everybody and they mama. <laughs> Literally, they mama. And she chose me. Yes, yeah, she said yes to me. I went on one knee for her. We don't do that. We, that's not what we do. Y'all do that. So until y'all say, men, y'all body count matter too, and actually mean that junk, and tell y'all homegirls to make sure those men don't get favorable outcomes, body count ain't going to matter for men. It's only going to matter well, for women. Well, body count matters for men. It's just, it matters in a good way. Because the more bodies you got, the more bodies you'll get. <laughs> And we had D come up here. Where did D go? Is she is she still back or he's still back? Who was that? D. What you got for us, D? Unmute yourself. Who's that? Oh, that's oh, that's new leaf. Why you got a D up there? I'm unmuted. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why that's up there like that. Yeah, your name. Your, your I, I don't know name. why it's up there like that. <laughs> God oh, damn it! <laughs> it's because he has to edit his name at first, or else it's gonna pop up different if you don't edit your name. Oh yeah, okay, put up, okay. put up, pull Queen's last, pull up, pull Queen's last um comment again. She said should be the same for both. Double standard, yes, yeah, double standard. But y'all created it. Usually, women created the create the double standards. Y'all foolishness creates double standards. You know that, right? Think about that. Y'all foolishness creates. I double know. Standards. I, listen, when a woman uses the word double standard, I think she should smack herself because there are a million double standards that are in women's favor for every one double standard that's in a man's favor. Right, I would say that. That's what I'm saying, but y'all create y'all create the double standards though. Even in the ones when it comes to men, y'all created that double standard. We didn't create that double standard. A woman, if a woman can't afford a baby, she get a check. If a man can't afford a baby, he go to prison. And y'all created that double standard. I mean, name a double standard Make that a men created. About that. Name, name a double standard that men created. The actions of men created. I'll wait. Yeah, because a man can't that, have a high body count without a woman's a permission. It goes, um, um, this is for Vet Lady. Vet Lady said, I question, I question any woman who says, they prefer not to have a man if they have a child because the existence of a child contradicts that statement. <laughs> you know what I'm Shut up! <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh shoot. Man, her father was oh unalive, <laughs> was killed in a car accident by a drunk driver. Oh shoot. It's, I mean, dang. But you still needed him to have her. <laughs> Point was missed. Um, and I, I do. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that he he lost his he lost his life in the cars, and I'm sorry by a drunk driver. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Really, really am. Um, your pool queen said men have five each, five each other. Oh, high. Oh, men high five each other. For smashing women, most women say we did didn't do it, so our friends don't think we are hoes. Oh, yeah, cause y'all the one call each other, um, uh, um, um, uh, um, garden tools for doing that. Y'all the one call each other that for doing it. As soon as you get mad at a female, you call her that. You call her a slut. You call her you call her a garden tool. That's what you do. Y'all do that junk. We don't do that. And we if we're talking about high fives. 
It don't matter if dudes high five and think about it. If dudes high five each other, don't mean they can make you be with them. Y'all got to stop being with the ones that be out here running and chasing all these women. Stop being with those dudes. <laughs> Can't got y'all tongue? <laughs> or did it? Or, or did the penis get your cat? You know, I ain't going to tell your business. <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, I ain't going to tell your business. Listen, what I'm saying is this. Just because they're giving each other high fives don't mean that they can make you live out the double standard because they get, oh, they gave each other high fives? Just because men praise it and women shame it don't mean that you the women that who shame body count with other women but praise body count the same way men praise it by giving those men favorable outcomes y'all created that double standard all y'all gotta do is come together have some sister circle meeting that y'all have and say hey you know body count matters stop 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 giving these men stop saying yes to these men proposals who have high body count Mr. Anderson. That's it. And no more double standard. Go ahead. What's going on, Natasha? You're on mute, says. Unmute yourself. Unmute yourself. There we go. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Okay. You know, I got an Android. Might work a little different. Thanks for having me up. No, I, I didn't mean. Go to, but go ahead. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I was talking about the arrested development because I think it's something that we should really consider when we're talking about our people um, and where they started from and where they started the behavior from. Are you talking about how women have, you know, they stopped, have stopped developing at age 14, 15? 16, yeah, still, absolutely. Their mind's still young and stuff like that. So they could always use the excuse of um, I was young and dumb even at 55. They, they can try to use the excuse, but understanding what arrested development means is a real, a real effect on their psychology. Hi. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't want to come up before. I'm sorry. I have my little ones. Hold no, on. You good. You good, sis. You good. So, yeah. Um, you know, and the whole independent thing and all that whole mindset, it comes from a lot of uh, failed relationships, bitterness, all that type of stuff has been ingrained in our in the children and then the grandchildren and it's just getting worse so i'm really glad that you guys had this type of show you're the only show i listen to okay appreciate that appreciate i didn't get that. to hear what you guys were talking about because i was trying to figure out this mic so i didn't mean to change nah you good you good, sis. you good yeah we listen listen we we trying to talk we trying to get people to understand the effects of promoting that the body count doesn't matter the effects of saying oh it doesn't matter you got you get men are starting to go around uh robin we say how do i send cash apps yeah we, my cash app if you want to send a cash app is dollar sign pete anders pete anders dollar sign pete you'll see the setting the record straight logo and everything on there robin with robin williams sir <laughs> anyway so this is So, like, like I said, we we just trying to say, when you promote body count, doesn't matter, right? You, you're promoting, you're promoting men to be promiscuous as well. You're promoting the the uh, the rise of STD rates. You're promoting uh, unwanted pregnancies. You're promoting fatherless homes. You're promoting all this bad stuff that comes from promiscuous living body count not mattering we're promoting all that those those are the effects of promoting that but when people say oh it doesn't matter they think they promoting one thing but really they promoting that thing and then promoting everything else see the argument is that people are trying to make but don't make is body count shouldn't matter but then they say body count doesn't matter when it does matter now, in their world, they want it to not matter so they can just do whatever they want and, and avoid all consequences for bad behavior. So they're saying it shouldn't matter, but in reality, it does matter. And on top of that, if you're saying it, it doesn't matter, you're promoting all, all these other things that, that, that especially women complain about 
they complain about dudes leaving them they, they raise the kids by themselves they don't even know where the daddy is they don't know who's who because they did promiscuous stuff and they the body count doesn't matter so we can run the body count up and so that's what's happening in our society and then um and i i'm trying to you know bring awareness of that like when you say body count doesn't matter you don't realize that you're promoting or you're defending the other stuff that you're complaining about on the back end so stop yeah no i definitely agree with everything you just said um when it comes to the body count and saying that it doesn't matter it seems like to me it's just a a matter of mass manipulation you know women seem to have the the majority say for some reason and the same thing that they've done in their homes quietly with their boyfriends or whatever um being master manipulators now it's on a mass scale you know and when it comes to promoting uh, promiscu promiscuity um, on both sides, especially the women. I Did you, did she freeze over there on y'all side? She is frozen, yes. Then you turn to Walt Disney. Yeah, but let's read this cash out real quick while we get her um, fixed up. Um clapback says appreciate the uh super chat clapback he says single by choice because you have not been chosen i guess that was to samantha holy shit 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 i don't i i guarantee you that the income for men are going to start to drop mm. the the the, the the purchasing of homes is going to drop for mm -hmm. men. What's the point? Men are, going to, men are going to start staying home with their parents longer. Right. Because what's the point? Men are going to stop trying to open businesses, start businesses, and, and produce. Mm -hmm. You are headed down a road. Because once you get them to agree, once you get people to start to agree because on TikTok we hear it more and more every day we hear more and more men agreeing with these women and trying to trying to protect them mm -hmm. oh yeah body, my world's body count matter doesn't matter it's fine she can do whatever she wants him not realizing <laughs> why you sound like why you sound like a surfer from california <laughs> <laughs> That's just one of the times. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. She can do what she wants. Once you shut up, leave her alone. <laughs> fucking hey. <laughs> fucking leave her alone, dude. You're fucking gay, man. <laughs> That's how they talk on TikTok, you know. But anyway, so they don't realize that they are saying out loud that she doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't care. That's what he's saying out loud. And ladies, you're sitting up here giving this dude coins and, and praising him when he's telling you out loud, I don't care about you. I don't care what you do with your body. I don't care. Because if he doesn't care what he does, what you do with your body, that means he doesn't think you're precious. He doesn't think that you're something that is valuable. It doesn't fucking matter, man. She can do what the fuck she wants, man. She, <laughs> she wants to have now sex with like all of Get the fuck out of here! Now you sound like Cheech and Chong, man. What you gonna yeah, pull she out? can have sex with me, have sex with my dad. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and, and oh, they man, all, the purity they culture. They don't even see it. They don't even You're see a purist. Happens. You're a purist. <laughs> purity culture. I, 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 gar I guarantee you, if you look <laughs> at the studies, listen, and this is numbers that I know, and this should be concerning. Right. And last month was the first time ever in U.S. history that every service, every armed for forces service missed their recruiting uh, numbers. First time ever. 
What does that say? Mm-hmm. That says our young men don't care to, to protect anymore. The numbers of young men who are have it in their heart to go and stand the watch just in case. Why? For what? To protect who? Mm. They don't they're, they're losing it. And you women don't understand. You lose your man, you lose your land. No. Uh, and all of this because you want to promote that something doesn't matter. This is a slippery slope. Right. A, a fucking slippery slope. Because if you say something don't matter and then they start agreeing, guess what? They can just start adding shit into the box. Education doesn't matter. My, I, I'm 600 pounds. It doesn't matter. I could be job of the hood if I want to. Just go get a forklift and help me out. Get me out of the house. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and um Saul is gonna digress. He has I I said it for him. Hey, uh, hey, the subject doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the uh let's go to the next video, um operator. Check this out. Um, so with the body count thing, women have to understand that this is something that's important to men. And the men that say it's not important is because they don't have long-term, um, long-term good intentions for you. So they'll say things like, oh, but no man has ever asked me about my body count. I'll, I'll be like, where are they now? Why would you ask? Have you, would you ever ask a girl about her body count if you don't plan on being around for a long time? No. Why would you? It's none of your business. All you're going to do really is run it up and then give it to the next guy, to a husband, you know what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. What you think about that, Blaze? As far as what he said pertains to the body count? Yeah. <laughs> I apologize. I was kind of doing something. But, uh, yeah, so I caught the tail end of the video when he basically says, um, correct me if I'm wrong, he said that there was nothing wrong with a man asking for a body count because once she comes back with the response of, um, oh, well, why are you asking me? Then that is a Problem, right? I apologize. Mm-hmm. What you think about that, uh, Saul? I can't see it over here. <laughs> you can't see it. On, no, I'm not on YouTube. Remember? Oh, oh, it must be your um, it must be your iPhone. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I can see it on my Android. Not if you're on the show on your Android ass. Yes, yes. Lies, lies. See, y'all, listen, we had this argument already. I Don't told you which it. one's better. I told Don't you which one's better. We'll, and I we'll won finish. that debate. We had a debate we'll and I won it. it. We'll finish it tomorrow. We'll finish it tomorrow. Okay, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> it's nothing to finish. It's already won. How are we going to refinish it? It's been finished. Right, what did it, hey, right. what kind of phone was your last guest on? Excuse me. Sorry. sorry excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to do. I, iPhone 7. No, she didn't. She said, I'm on the Android. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Shut up! Nah, nah, the, the, her, her, her baby must have kicked over the, uh, nah. the Wi Fi. She the, gave the, us the, I, the, the router. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> Router. <laughs> kicked over the router. Trash. Uh, kicked over the router. That's what happened. Ain't that right, Natasha? <laughs> she said, Yup. She said, Yup. Laugh out loud. Yup. See? She kicked over the router. That's what happened. She lost connection. It wasn't How you phone. need a router for a phone? Maybe she was using a spare <laughs> phone. It didn't have any service. And the boy uh, kicked over the router and it folded. See, on the Android, you need a server. You need a you need a router. <laughs> No, maybe she didn't have one with service. Maybe it was a uh, Maybe uh, something else. See, hey, man, you. stop. <laughs> I learned something new. Hey, that's one That's one point for you. You you can use oh, a router. Excuse me. You just making stuff up. You sound like LeBron James. And Michael Jordan. You, 
You can use the router. You have to use the router for your phone. You just, you're just making phone. stuff up, man. You just making stuff up just to be right. You got a vicious need to be right. Don't tell me you've been affected with that disease. See, it connected to my home Wi-Fi. See, I was right, man. See, you should be making stuff up, man. That usually makes your phone better. No, <laughs> no. What I'm saying is, she said her. If you uh, connect uh, your Wi-Fi uh, on Android, she said her baby freezes. hit over the router and disconnected it. Freezes. It. <laughs> it freezes. See, see, you just be making stuff up, man. Bro, you're trash, bro. Is them tears, bro? That's Come right, on, bro. Gotta get tears, you together, bro. boy. Stop crying, bro. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what. You need to be right. Hey, put this out on TikTok. Put this out on TikTok. I got I got a fifty dollar bet right now. Uh uh-uh. that no woman can come up here and debate me on body count and win. Uh oh. No. I'll add fifty dollars to that. Oh, we got a hundred. We got a hundred right now. Amen to that shit. So what's up, what's up with the with the women in the conversation? Hundred dollars, hundred dollars. Saul said there's gonna be a hundred dollars on the table for any woman that can debate him about body count and and win. If you win, you get a hundred dollars. You lose, you don't lose anything. It was just it, it, it was one way. You don't gotta bet. You gotta bet a hundred dollars. He's just saying that he'll just put up a hundred dollars for the event. So you'll come out here. So that goes. And Peter, to, Peter, you get the ju- you get the judge who won the debate. You get the judge who won the debate. Robin Robin Williams said, "Let me up. I win the hundred dollar fast." Is this is Robin a dude or a woman? Are you a Stop woman or a man, Robin? <laughs> I think that's a woman, and she said she's a, a white woman in the comments earlier. And was asking okay, if she come could on, come on up, click, put the link down in the chat. Let me sharpen my saw real quick. Uh oh, uh oh. All right, operator, put that link down in the chat real quick so she so she could come up here. Go ahead. Uh oh. Bring your silly ass on up here so I can embarrass you. Uh oh. And you could go ahead and put them both on the what's the name. I'm gonna stay back here and watch. Probably take a nap, but I'm I'm gonna watch. <laughs> I can't even believe she accepted the challenge. I I can't even believe it. You gotta be super stupid. Oh oh you oh! She stupid. said a vet lady said add fifty dollars for me, so it's a hundred fifty dollars on the table. Who? Let's go. Go ahead, click the link. Go ahead, click the link, Robin. Come on up. Come on up, Robin. Come on up. Come on up, Robin Williams. Come, Come and tell up. me why why body count don't matter to men. I can't wait to hear this. No. Easy. She ain't coming. She ain't coming. All talk. You play that uh, Jeopardy, mu- Jeopardy music. It's Jeopardy. Hey man, listen. I'm telling you right now. I'm about to. I'm about to move the fuck out of Atlanta. I, I'm so tired of this motherfucking place. Why? No, it, it it is ten o'clock at night, and it's traffic like it is fucking seven, eight o'clock in the morning. I, I don't want to drive in no Atlanta. This I'm is fucking stupid. Uh uh uh. Well, I I'm moving. Fuck, I'm about to go find me up some farmland or some shit. I'm so tired of all these fucking <laughs> zombies around here. You can't stop at any stoplight without some zombie walking up to your car trying to sell you some waters. Or ask you for something. This is ridiculous. Natasha said, "Not worse than L.A." Oh no, I San Francisco is worse than L.A. Oh yeah. You know, you know, San Francisco so bad for the Super Bowl, they went and gathered them all up and put them somewhere. 
because <laughs> he was embarrassed. Mm-mm. God damn, they went and picked them all up and put them in buses. This is fucking ridiculous. Well, man, hey, listen, I I, I knew nobody was gonna come. Uh oh, who's this? Ben White. Oh, okay. Well, so is this Robin Williams? Cam up. Let's Cam get it on. Uh -oh. Uh oh, let's go. Let's set the record right straight. Uh oh. Now, because I'm a gentleman. I'm going to let you go first. Tell me why body count doesn't matter to men. Hello? Hey, if you got YouTube on the background, you got to cut it down. This is a child, man. Drop this. Drop this bullshit. What happened? Hey, that was a child or something. Yeah, my wife texted me. She was scared. She wouldn't even talk. What's, what happened? Um... Is she, is she gonna talk? I told you, dog. They scared. They can't fuck with Saul. I was, ooh, I was ready. Ooh, I was ready. 150 on the table, and they fumbled it. <laughs> fumbled the bag. <laughs> I mean, she didn't have a chance anyway. That's why everybody was like, yeah, I'll put 50 more. <laughs> <laughs> you can't win. Shoot. If, okay. So this will be the thing. If you lose, if you lose, they'll pay the hundred and fifty to me. If they, if fuck you out win. of here. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. They play the platform. Silly they, they rabbit. Said Silly rabbit. <laughs> they said hundred kids. They said hundred fifty to me. Silly if rabbit. You win, they'll send the hundred fifty to you. Either way, the hundred fifty. The hundred fifty will go get sent. Either way. Silly rabbit. <laughs> I mean, really and truly, it is a, it is impossible. It is almost impossible to win that debate. It's literally impossible. She from the bed that quickly couldn't say nothing because Goodness. they know that they can't justify it, Peter. That's why. This is crazy, though. Everybody, chat Robin in the chat. Everybody, type Robin in the chat. She gone now. She gone. She gone. She gone. She gone. She gone. Said, uh oh, she said, hell. What does hell mean? What are you talking about? Hell, what? What happened? What do you mean? Come back. Stop giggling. Come on, come back, Robin Williams. Stop giggling. Playing. Master Splinter talking about I made a funny. Come on, you never came up. Come on up then, Robin. <laughs> Come on, she never came with that one, huh? Oh, that was somebody else. Right. Well, at least they know better. Oh, snap.
so bad because I don't lie to this man about my body count. I told his ass I only got seven. Me personally, it's childish. A girl's past should never matter, and it doesn't matter to me. If you're a girl and you agree with me, DM me. Come on, Robin. What's you, you playing? Play it. Come on up. Just playing. Playing game. They said that they want to stay in the comments. Scared. Tell me something. Oh, I go win this $100. Scared. Just all talk. Just all talk. Just all talk. Just all talk. That's it. They'll be talking. Where is um whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. He's beginning to believe. That's how I would like support. Man, listen. What's she even here? First, they're going to say, oh, I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take the money. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's easy. I could do that. I could definitely do that. I could win the money. And then you're like, I would like the support for the comments. Sorry. Uh, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Weakest link. Um, so with the body count thing, women have to understand that this is something that's important to men. And the men that say it's not important is because they don't have long term, um, long term good intentions for you. So they'll say things like, "Oh, but no man has ever asked me about my body count." I'm, I'll be like, "Where are they now?" Why would you ask? Have you? Would you ever ask a girl about her body count if you don't plan on being around for a long time? No. Why would you? It's none of your business. All you're going to do really is run it up and then give it to the next guy, to her husband. You know what I'm trying to say to you? Mm. Peter, what are you doing? What are who doing? Man, I'm handling the business over here. They see you over there trimming in the comment section. Um, put up vet lady's um comment, operator. Oh, New Leaf said she was cap. So much cap. <laughs> hey, put up vet ladies, uh vet, vet ladies comment in the comment uh, from the comment section, operator. It says, What's going on, soldier girl? What's going on, soldier girl? It says, man. What uh what's an acceptable body count for a 30-year-old woman? We're not telling y'all the numbers. I told you that. We ain't telling uh -uh, we ain't giving no cheat codes. We ain't telling y'all, oh, say 12, and then all the women that's 30 <laughs> when they sit down, they were like, Oh, yeah, you don't have to ask me my body count. I'm gonna count 12. I'll tell you right away. 12. That's the set, yeah. That's the acceptable number, right? I only had hey, hey. I asked Soldier Girl if body count matters. Does body count matter, matter Soldier Girl? Come on up, Soldier Girl. Body count matter to you? <laughs> Clap said, I'll go put a wig on weave and debate <laughs> so you can get that money. Mm. 
My whole thing is, Peter, that if or since women are trying to advocate that it really shouldn't matter. See, these are the women that really do have high body counts. Like imagine saying, oh, it was perfectly fine for me to suck and fuck on all this dingling for all of these years. And it got me nothing. I don't even have a ring. Dingling. See, the people that talk. <laughs> dingling a ling. Church <laughs> Now is the time of the whole enemy. We got time. We got time. We got time. Oh, no, I ain't gonna let me tell you. I'm gonna tell you my business. Like, like, imagine. I mean, see, my whole thing is. If you like, if you don't have a high body count, you're not gonna sit here and say that oh it's okay or it's a double standard or all this other bullshit because you're gonna be like well honestly speaking I don't have a high body count so I'm gonna be honest I don't think it's okay. That's usually what happens when people that have no no uh, negativity said about your message. Usually they're like oh well you know I basically agree because I didn't carry myself that way. It's only the females that sucked and fucked on every dingling that was thrown at their forehead that always have something to say about, but it's a double standard and all this other bullshit. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. You got time. Ding a ling a ling, gone more swing. Girl, you jumping, bouncing, rumbling. I go, booyaka, booyaka. I put it on your wing. <laughs> You should have never, you never, you should have never dated a Jamaican girl. <laughs> should have never dated a Jamaican girl. You dated one Jamaican girl. Now you think you can talk like it. You, there's something wrong with you, man. You dated one Jamaican girl. You ain't even take uh, like a few of them. One. Mid on Ross Clot Bump. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh uh. Mid don't give a. Uh, mm mm. Bossy Topo. No, you man. ain't going to do shit, nigga. You didn't see. You didn't see a couple. You should have seen Shatos one time. You didn't see <laughs> <laughs> a couple of Jamaican um, uh, shows like uh, Oliver Yelage. One did you can you, take it? Because you'd have been out with that one Jamaican girl. She'd have oh, opened your eyes to Jamaican cinema. And now you think you, you could talk like them. Crazy. Oh, she talk. Crazy. Shut up! Me go walk like a champion. All right. Um. Yeah. So, Soldier Girl, is she still in the own conversation? Hell no. Ain't nobody gonna do it for a hundred and fifty. God, talk. I wish I could put on the wig. Hey, listen, you listen. This gives me an idea, though. I think we should start a whole other show called The Great Debate, and we offer cash prizes. For individuals to come up and debate each other one on one, just like verses. Right. The great. The it says the, oh, Soldier Girl said depends on the person. Put that. Put that up there, uh, operator. It says depend on the person. Personally, I don't care. Don't want to know. Um, are you disease free? <laughs> Do you have baby mama driver? I don't want an um inexperienced man. See, bam, body count don't matter. Holy shit! shit okay, shit. that's for me. Ask her. Does it? Ask her. Does it care? Does it matter for women though? Does it matter for women though? It's, she said it's really none of your business. What's going on, Tammy? What's up with this body count? Um, does it matter or no? Come on up. Talk. Let's talk about a soldier girl. Come on, Bobby. You crank that soldier girl. <laughs> Superman that. Not superwoman that. It must be you crank that soldier girl. <laughs> Come on up, soldier girl. Defend your stance. 
Defend your stance. Come on, put the link in the um comment section. Uh, operator. I ain't telling us my friend. I, we're not asking your body count. We're talking about does women's body count matter? That's what we're talking about. Defend that position. There's $150 in it for you if you win. I ain't telling that's my personal business. Listen, Tammy, we got $150 <clears throat> in there. $150. Cash prize. If you can beat Saul and debate about body count not mattering, you get $150. Cash. <laughs> All right, this so Tammy, Tammy, Tammy you said no. Misha. This is Clap Nisha. I want to debate. <laughs> Listen, you got people trying to act like they women up here, trying to get that money. <laughs> Did he say Clap Nisha? <laughs> this is Clap Nisha. This is Clap Nisha. I tell you, that's our personal business. It, it don't. It don't matter. Well, Tammy, come up and and defend that position that it doesn't matter. And if you win the debate, you'll get one hundred fifty dollars. Whoever come up here, Tammy or Soldier Girl. Y'all come and defend that it don't matter for women, and you got and 150 if you win the debate. Whatever you want. You're going against all. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. It doesn't matter because men know how to cook too. <laughs> Y'all can't see these comments. Yo, listen, I didn't, Yo, know, that, hey, I didn't know that was clapping first. Come up, defend it. I did not know that was clapping first. <laughs> you stupid. Come, come up and defend it. <laughs> I want to debate. I was like, hey, what the fuck is come this? Come up here. It's Tapmisha. I want to debate. <laughs> the, oh, the chat room should be the judges. I mean, y'all can, y'all can be judge number two. Y'all could be a deciding factor. Split decision. Come on. Come on. Either Soldier Girl or Tammy. Defend the position. Hell, they both can come. Shoot. shoot. He, he said y'all both can come. And y'all can split the earnings. Huh? Hear me and hear me good, nigga. Good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That what shit about, is a, a two-pack of ass. What about when <laughs> when you lie to me and, and I don't find out until a year later and you trick me and now I got one more body count because you tricked me. You you, hey, you should tell me in the beginning. Clap me, sir. Clap me. Sir. He's beginning that to sounds be. so he's disgusting. It. Your pool clap queen me, said. Sir. Sounds like you got the clap. Yeah. <laughs> your, your pool <laughs> queen said, Peter, you are going to be biased. No, I'm not going to be biased. I'm going to be fair about it. If you give a good, it's a debate. If you're going to give a good debate, a good argument, I'm be like, hmm, that's a good argument. Trust me. We'll go on point system. Every time she makes a point, he says, okay, he writes down a point. Every time I make a point, we do it for five minutes. We go five minutes straight. Whoever has the most points at the end, y'all wins. Listen, y'all playing, man. I got to. Now, what y'all do is y'all get three I gotta rounds. I got to finish getting packed. Well, I'm, okay, I'm yeah, that makes sense. It's three rounds, like the UFC. Three points. I'm, I'm, get the I'm going, I'm going I'm to the A this weekend. Head off. So tomorrow. I'm taking tomorrow. a saw in the goddamn head off. So tomorrow. what you do is she gives her first point. And then you def- then you rebuttal her point, then you give your point, and then she rebuttals your point until we get to three points. And, y'all, and if y'all not following, if y'all not following this um page, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for um all updates. So you get all the updates when we go live. So subscribe, hit the notification bell um for more updates. Come on up, soldier girl. Come on up, Tammy. Why y'all scary, man? Y'all scared. God, because God, they know I got me. my saw ready and it's sharper it's than a scary, motherfucker. Son. I ain't I ain't never I ain't, I have never seen an independent, strong, independent woman don't need no man scared like this. <laughs> Put them PhD <laughs> degrees together and come on, they y'all. Scary, y'all strong and independent, come on. He said he said, I ain't never seen no strong independent woman don't need no man scared like this. <laughs> Hey, listen, Peter, when we do the great debate... Yo, I the ain't great never debate, scared. They come up, Tammy. Talk about, yo, I ain't never scared. Y'all just lip service. The comments are uh, uh, hella de- delayed. Come on up, then. She said, just walked in the house. Well, Oh, you just walked in the house? Come get this 150, then. 
Nah, 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 nah. She, she said the comments are hella delayed. Wait, you know you need that grocery money. You know you need that 150 grocery money. Come on now. Well, y'all could, if y'all both if y'all both go against him, y'all could split it seven fifty. Um, I said 750. 75 75 dollars. Y'all could split it. 75 a piece. That's some that's some money there. You go get you um something nice. When I walk inside the club and the thing I'm a punk. Wait, what? They're not gonna come. Listen, when we do the great debate, when we do the great debate, everybody is gonna have their own theme song when they get brought up to the stage, like oh, like man. WWF. Oh my Mine's god. Mine's gonna be the saw. Mine's gonna be the saw and the, and the nigga giggling in the background. <laughs> I like to play a game. And then I'm coming up, and then Peter Anderson, yours is gonna be like. Mr. Anderson, and everybody's gonna know who's coming when they drop your theme music. Oh shit, who's up for the great debate tonight? Who we bringing out? Who? Because the people who come up ain't gonna know who they gonna debate. They don't know. They just know they they coming up for the win the money. They don't know. Yeah, yeah. And they figure out who they gonna debate when they get on the screen. They be like, oh shit, it's solved. And they're gonna go, oh yes, it's Mr. Anderson. I can beat him. This is from Vet Lady. Vet Lady said nobody wants uh, wants anybody that everybody who might be somebody has bad body. <laughs> she said nobody wants. Hold on, put it back up there. Put it back up. Put it back up. No, nah, cause she. she she said, nobody wants anybody that everybody who might be somebody has had the body that you're considering making your body. <laughs> she doing that body sign. Your body, my body, <laughs> all over her body. Yo, that's that's wild, son. No, but that's true, though. She said, nobody wants anybody who had everybody who might be somebody has your, that, that want to make you their body. <laughs> hey, Peter. Here's, here's the statement of the night. Women with high body counts are like the heel of the bread. Everybody touch it, but don't nobody want it. Mm. <laughs> Amen to that shit. Mm. I, just threw, I just threw two heels away today. <laughs> he said, he said, yeah. now, listen, now, now, if I'm really starving <laughs> and I ain't got no bread left, yeah. I'll put the two in a nice little sandwich. No, yeah, but you never want to do it. I'm but you never want to do it. Yeah, I'm going to score. <laughs> whole, 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 whole loaf. Calls for desperate measure. But if it, if it ain't desperate measure, we throw that junk away. So we touch it and move it out the way. The heel of the bread. Everybody touch it, don't nobody want it. No, nobody want it. <laughs> hey, that's all kind of hey, that's all, hey, clap. Peter, that's our new nickname for three oh fours. We're getting rid of three oh fours. We're yeah. done with three oh four. We call them Hill of the Bread. Hill of the Bread. Hill of the bread. Bread. Got everybody's bread. germs all bread. on that mug. Hill of the Bread. bread. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. didn't touch it. Everybody didn't touch it. Nobody wants <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, you old Hill of the Bread ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then look, 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 they're gonna be like, what that mean? Uh, don't worry about it. Go, look, worry about it. Go, no, go look at your go look at your loaf of bread real quick and see, <laughs> see what it is. Yeah, I mean, see, how many, <laughs> say, see, see how many handprints is in the <laughs> right. Oh, oh, you old healing bread, motherfucker. Okay, I see what we're going rubbed on. on it. Then push oh, it to the side. Yeah, push to the side. Rub it in. Push it to the side. Oh, heel of the bread. Oh, heel of the bread. Get to the good bread. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,
or did, did he win by default? Because there was no suitable people to debate him. Well, no, because my girl wanted to debate. You see what I did? See what I did? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, did you see what I did? Yeah, I seen that. Right, yeah. Did he win by choice? Mm. Or did he win by default? Because there was no suitable people to debate him. Mm. Right, bye, bye. Or because they actually know the truth. And right. it's hard It's hard to debate a lie. Right. What's the name? Temmie said she just came, just came in the house. But she didn't want to just come in the house and get this money. So like, shh, everybody be quiet. I'm going to go get this money real quick. I'll be right back. I'm about to stay in the car. I'll be right back. I'm about to go make this money. Yeah. All talk. But yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you better all make it a lettuce wrap. Listen. Fuck. Just said, Mark, you're better off making a lettuce wrap. And with that being said, let us wrap it up, okay? Um, and that's not only in a figurative speech to say that we're about to end the show, but that's also a fi- a speech of saying y'all need to start wearing condoms because y'all nasty. That too. <laughs> or y'all could just wait and not have sex and stop your body count today. And um, we're going to have, um, there's no such thing as body count forgiveness programs. We don't have no um, body count um, um, IOUs or any body count um, mail-in rebates. None of that. Okay? You can't erase the body count. It's there. So if you don't want a body count, they don't have a body count. But I'm going to ask this I'm going to ask this question. If body count truly doesn't matter, then why have a body count at all? Y'all take care. You have a good night. Be safe.